Tara. I'm Issa. Elaine. I'm Sabrina. And today we're going to be talking. Uh, I'm sorry. About... It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to laugh. Uh, you can't laugh because then I'm going to start laughing. I'll see you later. No, you really. Oh, I thought you were leaving. Okay. I'm Tara. I'm Elaine. Issa. And today we're just going to be giving some advice to women out there in the grappling industry, uh, predominantly in judo. That's what the sport we do. And first we're going to start off with how we all deal with uh, microaggression in what's a male-dominated sport. So Issa, if you'd like to start. Yeah, so the first thing I do is tell myself that I deserve to be on the mat as much as anybody else. And sometimes you just have to brush it off and try to let it go. And sometimes you have to bring it up to your instructor, and you just sort of have to decide between the two. I think uh, just going off of that, um, for me, it's it's about boundaries. Uh, so, you know, when I'm when I'm on the mat, uh, I'm I'm very focused on my training, and uh, there are certain goals that I want to accomplish, and um, I have to keep that in mind uh, that I'm working on these very specific goals. Uh, so, with that in mind, um, you know, pick your partners wisely and. Uh, and know uh, who's going to help you grow within the sport and, and who won't. Yeah, um, same thing as Lainey was saying, for me, especially as a younger female in the sport, it was important to build relationships with the people in my dojo and get to learn everyone else's judo, so I know who um, will most benefit me when I'm training and who would keep me safe. Yeah, I think like it's definitely important to I no, I didn't. Okay, wait. Can I? I'm sorry. Can I say something? I think this question is weird. I don't like this question. Oh my goodness. Okay, no, so, I think it sounds too much. Like it's too much. Like oh, we're women and we face aggression. Like no, like I don't feel that when I do judo. Like I don't. I don't feel. Like, it's okay. You're entitled to your you opinion. I mean? Yeah. Let's keep the dialogue going. This is what yeah. we were here for. Yeah. You know, we're not like, here. I don't know. Like I like. I mean, maybe like I've been lucky enough to not feel that, but like I don't know. I come to judo. Like my teammates are all guys, and they're like a big family to me. When I come to judo, I'm just like another one of the boys to them, so um, I love that about judo, and I really think judo is a sport that does foster that sort of environment. Um, so that's why for women, I think judo is such an amazing sport, because maybe in other sports, women feel that like disparity between men and women, but in judo, like we all come here, we're all wearing the same gi, um, you know, and I think that's like really empowering. It's something you don't find as much in other sports, but you will find in judo as a woman. So, but... What do you do when you're in a situation where someone says something offensive or you feel like someone's going too hard or you feel like you might be threatened? I guess like I feel like the opinions of like if some if someone like has a negative opinion about women like they're usually unimportant people to me and like they should be unimportant to like any, anybody like that makes them feel that way. So like I don't take things personally because I just like feel like that person is not important in my life and that doesn't affect my judo. So I think for, for me, uh, I can hold my ground in, in those kind of situations, but when, I co when it comes to picking partners, safety is definitely a big issue. And um, as a woman, uh, I will come into situations where maybe I'm going with somebody who's a little bit physically stronger than me, um, but maybe they're a little bit more clumsy. So uh, when it comes to a point where it's dangerous, then that's when I, I think I have to say I, I, I can't play you. Yeah, yeah. There's this phrase that I think Issa started that judo should be a conversation. And um, I think that's especially important when, you know, um, there's times where I'm fighting a man who could be like way bigger than me, stronger, and then I need to know that they understand that it's not just about them being overpowering and just trying to throw me, but that they're gonna allow me to work and we're both gonna have like this mutual conversation of trying to help each other grow. Um, so now we're just going to go into some advice that we would like to give women in judo. My first piece of advice would be don't be afraid to speak out and talk to people. And it goes back to the conversation thing. Just clearly and concisely voice whatever you're feeling. 
usually after practice is a good time, and sometimes during rounds you have to say something, and that's totally okay. I guess uh, my advice would just to be completely relentless and, and unyielding, uh, stick to your guns, and, and try to grow within the sport um, from every partner that you have. Um, I guess my advice would be there's always going to be those times and moments where you feel completely down about yourself and you just want to give up, but that's part of the learning curve and you just need to get through that because um, once you overcome those challenges, you'll realize how much the sport is helping you and how much you've grown and you can always look back and see your growth and your improvement and really be proud of that and that's one of the great merits of judo. Um, what I think is really great about judo is that it's helped me become stronger in other facets of my life. So, you know, if I'm like at work, it's been like a long day, like the same like endurance that I've built in judo, whether I'm like fighting somebody and I feel like I can't breathe anymore, like, or I'm on that last breath and you're like pushing, pushing, pushing to the end. Um, that's the sort of strength, like mental strength that I also carry over with me in like difficult situations in my life and, and work and family and friends. So I think judo is such an amazing sport because it really teaches you that, not just when you're in the dojo, but also like when you're outside of the dojo. Mm -hmm. So my advice is just to keep pushing yourself, keep making yourself better, and the better you make yourself in judo, you're gonna become a better person, um, you know, and a stronger person like outside of judo as well.